Horror is a genre that is defined as fiction intended to frighten, scare, disgust, or startle its readers and or viewers by inducing feelings of horror and terror. In The Exorcist, categorized as a, in the horror genre, William Peter Blatty takes the genre to a whole nother level. Yes, it does have some aspects of horror, like the multiple scenes where Reagan does disgusting things to her body, but also show, showcases some themes that should unsettle the audience more than what they are seeing on screen. Damn <laughs> Yes, the power of the demon and what it does to poor Reagan is certainly scary, but what drives the plot is the battle between good and evil. The audience is not really supposed to be terrified by what is happening on the screen, no matter how many different gruesome shots the director chooses to put in. What is supposed to scare you is the idea of an all-powerful evil being in a world where man worships an all-loving supreme being. The nature of evil is supposed to terrify us and the loss of innocence due to an evil being is truly frightening. Throughout the film, doctors, priests, and others try to rescue Reagan from the, t the terrible beast inside of her, something that is tearing away at her innocence. They battle evil with science and religion, seeing what technology will prevail over the other. In the end, faith overpowers evil, but at the cost of life. The battle versus good of evil finishes with both the priests dying, so can you really say that faith prevailed? The purpose of evil is to cause dismay and chaos. Who is to say that evil did not prevail? Okay. Be silent! Oh. 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 Many people who view The Exorcist watch it and only remember the horrifying things that Reagan does and the wonderful performance her actor does to make the character come to life. The close-ups on her face are terrifying, and her actions and voice could give anyone chills. But the main focus of the film is the actual evil that possesses her. This evil can put fear in the hearts of the strongest people. Jaws, also classified in the horror genre, takes a different approach. Yes, there are fears of shark attacks and realistic value that natural attacks hold, and the gruesome camera angles and different bloody scenes of the attacks are scary, but these by themselves are not what make the film scary. It's the anticipation of what scares the audience, the thrill of waiting to see the attack, to see the blood and gore. This is what makes Jaws scary. Jaws is a much different kind of horror than The Exorcist. The thrill and anticipation is not as horrifying as the complete idea of evil itself in our world. Yes, they both have disgusting special effects and editing, but the overreaching theme of The Exorcist is much more terrifying. The fact that Jaws is more realistic and probable is scary, but the idea of an all-powerful evil only out to destroy everything is terrifying. After viewing Jaws, you may not want to go to the beach and sharks may creep you out, but the exorcists may cause people to be scared in their own homes, terrified of the evil that surrounds them. 
Overall, the evil in this world is a terrifying thought, and I would much rather deal with a shark than a demon possessing my thoughts and actions.